Hello to all of you beautiful bakers and welcome back to Bluebell Bake. My name is Jordan, I'm your favorite average baker and media maker and today we are going to be making chocolate glazed donut holes. I'm so excited, I love this donut so much and the recipe that I'm going to be using was actually found on Pinterest and the original creator uses a donut pan and makes regular sized donuts but we all know that things taste better when they're smaller and I also don't have a donut pan. So we're going to be using a mini muffin tin to make these. But before you do any of that, you of course need all of your ingredients. So here's everything you need to make the donuts. So to make these mini donuts, you are going to need one and a half cups of all purpose flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of melted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of sour cream. You can also use Greek yogurt for this, plain Greek yogurt. You're also going to need two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two eggs, and then six tablespoons, sorry, of milk. Once you have all of those ingredients, we're going to start by combining all of the dry ingredients together. So let's do that. In goes our cocoa powder, our sugar, our baking powder and our salt. And we're just going to whisk that up. So once all of your dry ingredients are combined, again, we used a whisk. You can also use a sifter if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. The other thing I'm not going to do is mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients by hand. I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm gonna be using Bluebell. However, if you don't have a mixer by a stand mixer or a hand mixer, you of course can mix this by hand. But instead, we are going to add our dry ingredients mixture together and then all of our wet ingredients together and just mix it up. So all of our ingredients have combined and it is going to be a thicker batter, so just be cautious of that. But all I'm going to do now is our original creator of the recipe said it's probably best if you transfer your batter to a piping bag. I don't have any piping bags on me, so I'm just going to be using a gallon Ziploc bag. Um, you can do that as well. You can go out and get a piping bag. I don't think you really need one, to be honest. So now we're going to transfer it to the piping bag and then we'll cut a corner off. You want to make sure that you do that after your batter has transferred. That way you don't get like a little pool in whatever cup that you're using. And it is good to use a cup too. That way you don't have to hold onto the bag with one hand and try to stuff your batter into another. It just makes things a little bit easier. Once all of your batter has been transferred, we're going to get out all of the air bubbles and close it up. So we're just gonna kind of lay it flat, press it down, zipper up. As you can see, all of it's kind of pushed to one corner already. That's why it's also kind of good to have the cup too. And we're just gonna twist it. That way all of the batter is transferred to that corner. Take your scissors and you are just going to snip and immediately start. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure how much to fill these. We're gonna do about halfway, I think. And I already greased my mini muffin pan too. And now that they are all filled, we're going to pop it into the oven at 400 degrees for five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna put them in for five and then we'll check afterwards. Our donut holes just came out of the oven and they only took five minutes. So be sure again to start with five minutes and then continuously check after that, only adding about a minute at a time if needed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer them out of the little pan um, onto a cooling rack and let them cool down completely before we glaze them. So here's everything you need to make the glaze. You are going to need one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and four tablespoons of milk. And all we're going to do is we're going to add our vanilla and milk into the powdered sugar and mix it up, and that's it. Once all of your little donut holes have cooled, it's time to dip them in the glaze. Now you can't just plop them into the glaze and then use a spoon. I'm actually gonna be using one of these little um, dipping sticks that I got for when I made uh, cake pops one time. So all you do is just put it right on there <laughs> or it just falls right in too, that's fine. I did put it down a piece of parchment paper. You can also use wax paper um, just so any of the extra glaze is going to end up right there and not on your counter. This is just gonna save some mess. So once you do that, another way that you can do it too is you can just dip the tops where half of it is glazed and half of it isn't. It's really up to you how you wanna do it and depending on how much time you have. Once your donuts are glazed, you're going to let the glaze harden and enjoy. Something that I did find too is that actually just dipping them halfway 
works better because then the glaze kind of trickles down the sides and you don't have to worry about using one of these thingamajigs and getting it everywhere. So once that's all done, that is it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and making this recipe. And if you do make this recipe, go ahead and leave a comment down below, or you can even tag me in social media. My handles are at bluebell.bake, and that's both on Instagram and TikTok. And always don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell so you always know when I'm posting. And until next time, keep on baking.